Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Our today's video is going to be very much important as in this video I am going to discuss the each and every step of the solution. How to how you can solve the Laplace's equation in spherical polar coordinates. Okay. Now previously I made a video on the solution of Laplace's equation in uh, Cartesian coordinates. You can go and watch that video. The link I will give in the description box. Now in many cases, okay. Uh, when you have uh, some kind of spherical uh, objects okay then you will have to use the Laplace's equation in spherical polar coordinates to find uh, the uh, potential suppose you have uh, given a uh, sphere and uh, hollow sphere like uh, that suppose and you have given uh, the potential on the surface is suppose V0 then you have to find the potential inside it then how can you calculate now inside is charge free suppose rho is equals to zero that means the uh, we have to use actually del square v is equals to zero and we have to solve that to find the v inside now del square uh, the laplacian uh, have different forms in spherical polar coordinate and in cartesian it is quite different so using the concept of carvelian coordinates you can find the form of uh, del square okay and the form actually reduces to like this 1 over r square del del r of r square del v del r this thing plus 1 over r square sin theta del by del theta sin theta del v del theta plus 1 over r square sin square theta del 2 v over del phi square where phi is the azimuthal angle now if we consider for our present case that the phi or the azimuthal there is an azimuthal symmetry in the problem then we can neglect this term okay we can neglect this term and uh, what we'll just uh, left with we are left with with the two parts okay we are left with this and this is equals to zero how can we solve this equation we'll uh, understand step by step in this video now okay now what was the process the process is similar to the uh, similar like the uh, case of Cartesian coordinate system using the separation of variable method so using the separation of variable what we uh, know that we have to uh, assume the um, expression r comma theta the value of the potential inside we are assuming that is equals to some function explicitly dependent on the radial component or the radial uh, coordinate r and multiply with capital phi suppose this which is dependent on only theta we assume this to be the solution of this equation and just put this thing in this equation then what happens del v del r becomes a what if we calculate del v del r derivative smaller then as this is a partial derivative derivative with respect to smaller that means this will be taken as a constant that means phi will be taken outside and this will be del 2 capital r over a del smaller smaller sorry not to, to. so finally we will get like uh, this type of things we uh, if we multiply both so all the things with r square small r square then these terms will be just vanished right multiply it with all the things with smaller square then uh, the only only this term will left right and uh, so what will be that here phi here this will only the phi will there will be phi capital phi and that will be taken outside so phi del by del r uh, of r square del r del smaller this thing plus for this 1 by sine theta will be there and here uh, r will be the right side right as here the derivative is uh, with respect to uh, theta and there will be this is just notation okay this is phi this phi is not the azimuthal angle this is just a notation which is uh, dependent only on theta coordinates okay now if we multiply both sides or all the equations with the uh, 
with v that means the multiply of this and this the product of this and this then what happens if we if we divide it with the r and phi then this will be cancelled out and r and phi then this will be cancelled out right so the ultimate form will be like one for r will be equals to zero okay now we uh, using our previous knowledge that uh, whenever this type of things comes where uh, this is totally dependent on smaller and this is totally dependent on theta then these two things are just uh, independent right r and theta are completely independent if we change r it is not sure that or we cannot say anything about theta that is it changing or not so for uh, this yeah, for the addition of these two things to be equals to zero it must be the condition that these and these things two individual thing must be equals to constant right right that means what i'm trying to say that the one by r one by r okay yes del by del r r square del r over del r is equals to minus 1 over phi sine theta del over del theta sine theta del phi del theta right this thing must be a constant and for some uh, simplicity we are assuming the constant to be l into l plus 1 okay why you will understand later okay so this is the constant l into l plus 1 then what happens and uh, if you remember the uh, uh, my lecture on the cartesian coordinate system then you can easily understand that why we take we will now take 1 by r del by r r square del r over del r to be equals to l into l plus 1 positive okay why i have discussed in that video cartesian coordinate system laplace's equation and this thing sine theta del over del theta and all the things this will be equals to minus l into l plus 1 so you can understand that if we uh, just add this and this thing then it will become zero now the solution of this thing will be equals to capital r r function of r will be equals to some constant a into r to the power l plus some another constant b into 1 over r to the power l plus 1 now how i get this if you are interested in knowing this and you should interested in knowing this because uh, you, you can face this type of things in many uh, problems of physics okay and even in many competitive exams also so uh, just check out the link of uh, the video which i have made separately okay the link i will give in the description box or in the i card so uh, where i have discussed how to solve this kind of differential equation easily and the solution will be this now okay this is the solution of this thing and uh, what will be of this let us understand that right now so take the phi sine theta here in this side then it will become and uh, you, you will have only this in the left hand side so just expand this thing that is derivative it then first uh, make the sine theta constant and derivative of this that means sine theta sine theta del to phi over del theta square plus derivative of sine theta means cos theta into del phi over del theta right and uh, okay and that will be equals to minus l into l plus 1 into phi into sine theta right now uh, okay if you take all the things in the right hand side then this will this will become this equal to 0 so this is a differential equation right now what will be the differential equation this is a actually uh, a form of legendre polynomial and its solution will be pl that is we call the legendre polynomial solutions uh, like pl of x these kind of things but but here the solution will be 
PL of cos theta that means x is replaced with sorry x is replaced with theta so this is the solution of this now how it becomes right I am going to discuss it detailedly in this video how this becomes a legend polynomial. the form of this equation is a legend polynomial how it becomes now we know uh, you have studied if you have studied legend polynomial a little bit then you can understand that the legend polynomial looks like this 1 minus x square d2y over dx square minus 2x dy dx plus l into l plus 1 is equals to 0 theta okay i am going to replace x with cos theta then i am going to i i, I want to see what happens then then you can understand that dx will be equals to minus of sin theta d theta right or i can write like this d by dx is equals to minus 1 over sin theta d by d theta why just integrate this thing integrate this thing you will get this thing just integrate then you will get this thing that means this is correct okay now so if we now uh, want to find d2 over dx square of uh, y means d by dx of actually dy over dx right so what will be that uh, actually that means uh, if it if you come on the minus signs then minus minus will be plus and for this thing d by dx will be minus 1 by sin x and, and and this minus inside will take positive okay so sin theta due to this d by d theta that is like is in this form and inside there will be 1 by sin theta this thing okay d by dx sin theta uh, d by d theta just simple there was a minus and uh, outside there was a minus i have just taken this minus outside and that will be plus okay now just expand this thing expand this thing what happens this will become 1 over sin theta just take it outside just kept it outside 1 over sin theta uh, just first derivative uh, th uh, make this constant and this derivative 1 over sin theta d2 y okay take y d2 y over d theta square plus derivative of this means what minus sin square theta and derivative of sin theta means cos theta dy d theta this thing now uh, okay okay now you can take uh, sin theta from inside to outside then it becomes sin square theta then this will cancel and this square will be cancelled so uh, okay now i am going to uh, put this thing put this thing and this thing in our this equation then what happens in this equation then 1 minus x square means 1 minus cos square theta means sin square theta in sin square theta in this thing into d2y over dx square means this total thing right so 1 over sin square theta this 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 thing into in bracket d2y d theta square minus cos theta over sin theta dy d theta okay now what happens wait a minute minus 2x x means cos theta and dy ds means minus so minus will be taken outside divided by 1 over sin theta means sin theta d by d theta right so d y over d theta right and the last term will be just similar just same thing because 1 into y uh, is there any y oh sorry the legendary equation in the legendary equation there is, there is y right? so this will be y equal to 0 so what it becomes this will be cancelled out 1 so this will become d2y over d theta square plus cos theta over sin theta 
dy d theta plus l into l plus 1 into y is equals to 0. Now just multiply this sin theta all over the things. That means sin theta y double prime I am denoting this derivative with the y double prime plus cos theta y prime means dy by d theta plus l into l plus 1 into sin theta into y that will be equals to 0. Now just compare this equation with this the simplified form. Just now you can see that this form is just equals right to this form that means we have as a, we have, and this form we have this form this form we have get from the normal Legendre's equation with just replacing x to cos theta right and we have found that it is matching the form is matching to our this form so actually uh, this form the solution of this thing right the solution of this thing actually means the differential the solution of this differential equation actually is the solution of the legendary differential equation with x converted to cos theta right x replaced with cos theta and we know the uh, this type of uh, equation that means the legendary equations legend of polynomial have a solution two type of solution okay P L and Q L. P L is the first kind. Q L is the second kind. Now P L P L uh, P L of x actually P L of x and in this case it is P L of cos theta. Okay. Now what is the form of P L and Q L? Right. Now the form of P L is very simple. P L of x. I am writing with uh, for P L of x. This is called Rodrick's formula. Okay. Rodrick's formula. Rodriguez formula. You will you will learn this in while you study the legendary differential equation in mathematical course, mathematical physics course. Okay. Now, these are the form like this: one by two to the power l l factorial dl over dx to the power l. Okay, x square minus one whole to the power l. Okay. Now, the another another solution as this is a second order differential equation right this legendary differential equation is a second order differential equation right this second order so it should have two solution and the another solution is called ql of x but this have some uh, uh, like a different type of form i am not going to uh, write that here but that is actually a series form it has it has also actually a series form but that series is convergent convergent right but this series is not convergent it have infinite number of terms that means if we want to actually our 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 motive is to consider this physical consider or use this in physical problems like right? but in physical problems if q will tends to infinity that means actual form what was the actual form we are actually uh, want to find the vx comma y which is the product of the two Things. that means r of r into phi of theta but if phi of theta have infinite uh, number right if it takes infinite value then v tends to infinite which is not physically acceptable that's why we are just not considering this solution we are considering only this solution so the total solution v x comma y will be equals to r into phi and r is equals to what what we have earlier discussed a r to the power l plus b over r to the power l plus 1 and what is phi phi was equals to p l of cos theta so this is the ultimate solution of our problem okay the, the solution of the laplace's equation in spherical polar coordinates so this is a very useful result you will uh, find uh, this result uh, to be very much helpful in your in solving uh, various type of uh, spherical problems of electrostatics okay so and in the upcoming videos i will discuss that also how you can uh, use this equation in problems okay so this is all for today's video hope this video is very much helpful 
uh, take care of yourself thanks for watching